Welcome back everyone. Alright, we got something exciting today. Something that's going to make a lot of difference. Putting flooring in, in the main room behind me. Okay, so the one thing I can tell you, as someone who's dabbled in a lot of different trades, the one thing they all have in common, the thing that separates an amateur from an advanced amateur like myself, is that the importance of prep work. So we're going to spend a little bit of time cleaning this floor, making sure it's flat, doing a little bit of sanding, and then we're going to get started. Typically when I frame a wall with a, a door and a wall, I'll cut a saw curve underneath here on the uh, bottom side and that makes it easier to cut out. And I did it on the other three doors on, these, on this room, but I forgot to do it on this one so I'm having to do a lot of sawing. Alright, I've done a good amount of prep work, so pretty confident I can put this underlayment down. Uh, this white stuff is an insect insecticide. Um, being in the woods, we just get a lot of bugs. piece underneath here has a sticky strip, so I'm just going to take that off. I like this tape because it sticks to anything. I don't know if you need to do that, but whatever. Real quick, without peeking, make a comment on whether you think I have enough to finish or if I only brought two rolls. Don't cheat. Alright, I'm going to guess, given my track record, 70% of people are going to think I don't have it. 30% will think I do. That's my prediction. Shame on you for doubting me. Actually, that would have been the smart choice because most days I would not have measured and would not have had enough. Alright, so we got this all down. Uh, it's a little wrinkly in some places. I don't really think that'll be a problem. Um, but if it is, I'm sure we can fix it. So let's go see the flooring that we picked out. So this is it right here. It is. Uh, Hurricane brand. I got it at Menards. 
It's supposedly engineered, but honestly, it looks like a laminate because through the window, every single one of them has this same little scratch pattern. So I'm thinking they're just calling it engineered, but it's printed is my guess. So we've got to make our first cut. The, the way they want you to cut this stuff is interesting, so I'll show you. Yeah, so you're supposed to score this, then bend it, and then cut it with a jigsaw. Which I just thought was interesting. Well, I guess you don't even need... I guess you don't even need to do that. I mean, that that's actually pretty clean. I mean, that'll probably work even up against the stove where it'll show. So I know that gray is kind of played out and trendy, um, but I really like gray and why should Chip and Joanna get to ruin gray for everyone else or, or whoever else is on, on HGTV. Plus, I really like the contrast against the white. I think it looks good. I think it looks good against this. So uh, to me, it was kind of, it was kind of like we almost had no choice, but. Let me know what you think in the comments and what you would have gone with. All right, so I scored it first and then I cut, trying to stay on the other side of the cut of the score. And that, that seemed to work okay. I've got a hand plane. I'm not even sure if I can plane this because it's like rubber. Um, I might be able to clean that up a little bit, but it, it probably honestly won't even show. It's not terrible.
10 and 3 eighths. So we got this like inch and three quarter strip here, which kind of sucks, but since it's gonna be covered by trim or a threshold, we can just rip it freehand with the circular saw. So we're gonna make a couple thin boards and finish this off. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so let's talk about this installation. Um, you're supposed to leave a quarter inch gap. So I got my shims all around there. Uh, this stuff, I don't know if I can recommend this product. It's okay. Um, the roofs are very small and weak. A lot of times they break. Uh, when you're putting it in, if you have it too tight on the edges, the corners will crack and it's like really easy to do it even if you know that you can do it. Um, really easy to crack them. Uh, and then I had this issue right here. Um, I mean, it's probably because the floor is not perfectly flat, but this, uh, I noticed this after I was like seven courses past it, this one groove here, I pulled it up and it actually broke. So I don't know if I can lift it up and, and just kind of glue it down or what. Um, but I'm gonna have to do something there. So I saved myself some time putting this pre-made floor in, but I also cost myself some time because I'm gonna have to trim out a lot of stuff. Like I'll, I'll make like a, I don't know, I'll picture frame that in with some kind of wood that I'll stain gray. Um, and then, you know, I'll have to make some thresholds and stuff. Um, I'm gonna make a threshold for there. <laughs> it's quite a height difference and I'll have to make a little threshold for this door. All right, so let's, let's talk about the design aspect. I, I like the way the gray looks. I'm happy with it, but there's one thing I don't like, and it's, I don't know if it's gonna stay this way once we put furniture in it, but it's now kind of the dominant aspect of the room. You know, you kind of come in and it's like, oh, gray floor, which um, I think it looks good, so that's okay, but I didn't want it to be kind of the main thing you notice, but maybe once we have furniture, put the rug out, um, won't be quite so dominant, but I think it looks good. I think it looks good against the white. I think it looks good against the black. Um, I think it'll look good against this. And I think it'll look good um, once I make the cab uh, the cabinet faces. So um, it kind of ties in with the gray and the tile a bit. You know, it doesn't completely match, but that's all right. Um, let's look at this wall one more time. But so. Oh yeah, if you look behind me, if you, it, long time subscribers will remember a video where I bought Rough Sawn Ash, uh, I jointed it, I planed it, I edge profiled it, and then I installed it here and finished it in here. And that was, uh, that, that looks nice, but that was so much work. So that's kind of why I went with something that was pre-made, just because I wanted to save myself some time. I just, I wanted to make a decision that was going to make this easier on me. So 
Anyway, those are my thoughts for the floor. Thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.